Hey guys, Mike Ortebaggy here. I'm a systems engineer with Centrify. And today I'd like to talk to you about Samba. So for a long time we had provided uh, Centrify enhanced Samba, that is uh, a version of Samba that was configured uh, to work with the Centrify agent on Unix and Linux systems. We still do provide that, but the difference is that as of uh, Suite 2016, we aren't in packaging an actual Samba binary installation with our agent installer. We're doing that for several, several reasons, but uh, no matter. It's very, very easy to get Samba up and running, even uh, in the new method here. Let's talk a little bit about why you might want to use Centrify Enhanced Samba, and then I'll show you how we can actually set that up and configure it. So first of all, what is Samba? Well, Samba is a service that is typically installed on Unix and Linux systems to provide access to, uh, to shares on those systems. And we typically access those shares via Windows system. So I've already got one set up and we can take a quick look at that. So looking at this share here, uh, Sense 7 is a CentOS machine uh, that I've already installed Samba on. Um, opening this up with uh, Windows Explorer, um, we can click on uh, any of these Samba shares uh, and get seamless single sign-on access to these shares. Um, so what you see here is that we're not prompted for a password. That's because the Centrify Enhanced Samba uh, package is Kerberos aware. So we're making use of the Kerberos ticket that uh, Diana has because she's already authenticated to the domain. So single sign-on is, uh, is one of the first benefits. Um, the other thing we can do is we can, we can restrict access to a particular uh, Samba share based on group membership. Uh, and that's exactly what I've got set up uh, in my environment here uh, for the secured share. So this already exists and we're going to set this up on a new machine. Um, but in particular, this uh, is secured based on my membership to the Active Directory Security Group IT members. So let me open up Active Directory Users and Computers and show you where I've got that set up. So if we open the domain here, go down to uh, Staff, Groups, and this is the Active Directory Security Group that we'll be using to restrict access to the restricted share. Uh, finally, one other benefit to using Centrify Samba um, is that Something you may have noticed if you've uh, tried to use regular open source Samba with uh, Centrify uh, enabled machines is that the UIDs and GIDs may be mismatched for your users. So installing Centrify Enhanced Samba will maintain those UID and GID um, settings for your users uh, and that way the file ownership uh, issues sort of take care of themselves. That you, In fact, you won't have those issues uh, whatsoever. So uh, let's move on to the configuration here. And in terms of prerequisites, um, all you really need is to uh, ensure that your machine is joined to the domain. So I'm going to type in the Centrify command ad info. And as you can see, this, uh, this machine, it is a Ubuntu machine. Um, and uh, it's joined to the Centrify domain. And uh, the other thing that we need for, uh, for this is, of course, we need the uh, AD bind uh, proxy utility. So we can get that from the, uh, from the Centrify uh, customer support portal. So let me just log into that here. I'll show you where you can get that. So from the download center here, um, you'll scroll down to where it says Tools and Troubleshooting and click on Integration with Samba. Here you see all the uh, AD Bind Proxy uh, tarballs that are available for your operating system of choice. So just identify the package you need uh, and download the tarball. The tarball I grabbed was uh, AD Bind Proxy. Here we go for Ubuntu right here, x86.64. The last thing we're going to need to do uh, is we're going to first need to uh, install uh, open source Samba and WinBind. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to use uh, it's a Debian system, well, Ubuntu system, so I'll use apt-get. 
uh, we need to be root. So uh, again, because we're using Centrify software, we're going to run dzdo, our privileged uh, management solution that'll bump us up to, uh, to, to root, just like sudo does. So dzdo apt get install, throw to minus y flag so we're not prompted for samba and winbind. I'm prompted for my active directory password as expected. And these packages are being installed. So let's take a quick look at the uh, stock Samba config. Uh, I should have dropped it in etsy samba smb.conf. Uh, so this is totally vanilla Samba, as you expect, up a fresh install. Uh, there's not much in here. What we're going to see is after we run the Centrify script, the ADBind proxy, um, this is going to set up uh, Samba for us. So we've got some printers defined initially. Uh, and that's it. No other shares defined. Okay, so let's move on to the Centrify pieces. So as I mentioned, we've got the, uh, the Centrify ADBind proxy utility downloaded, so it's a tarball. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, explode that. And it's given us uh, a Debian package here, .deb. So we will use uh, dpackage to install that. So dzdo dpkg minus i for install and the .deb package here. All right, so, so that's installed. Um, what it did is it dropped the script in, uh, in user share Centrify DC bin. Uh, but before we make changes here, um, you know, best practice, I think a lot of you systems admins are probably think the same way I do. Uh, let's make a backup of the original file before we make changes. So. Uh, original is uh, smb.conf, and let's make this, uh, let's see, samba smb.conf, let's say simply dot back. This is actually a redundant step. Um, you know, this, this Centrify installer, AD by proxy, uh, it's actually going to make a, a, a backup of this file for us, uh, but uh, I'm just going to do this anyway. If it wants to be a root, let's try that with dzd. All right, excellent. Okay, so let's go ahead and run the adbind proxy configuration script. Uh, again, what this is going to do is it's going to configure the open source Samba that we just installed to properly interoperate with the Centrify agent installed on this machine. So to run it, we do dzd. You just need to be root here, so uh, you know you can also do an su or uh, sudo. Um, DZ do user share centrify DC bin adbind proxy dot pl. That is a Perl script. You will, of course, need Perl installed on your machine as well. Okay, so this script is interactive. It's going to ask us a few questions. Uh, please specify Samba's path if it's not in user. It is in user. We hit enter. Uh, this machine is joined to a domain. Do I want to leave and join another domain? No, I do not. It's asking for the location to winbind D. Uh, we're going to leave this the way it is. And do we want to keep the original Samba settings? Sure, let's keep those. Backup existing Samba conf and add Centrify recommended settings. Yes, absolutely. And then for resetting the Samba user and group cache, I'm just going to accept the default settings here. All right, so the script has done its job. Press Enter to continue. Excellent. So it's all set up and, and running now. So um, let's go back and take a, a look at the new Samba uh, config. So uh, I'm going to vi this file, throw another dzdo in front of it, vi at c samba smb.conf. Um, you see here, uh, the script is automatically configured 
uh, the uh, correct settings for the Active Directory. Uh, in this case, it set the Realm and the Workgroup and things like that. Um, but what I really want to point out here is that it's actually also created a, a sample test share for us. So we've got a sample test share here. So we should be able to go to our Windows machine here and just verify that uh, this is all set up and working. So uh, let's go to Ubuntu One is the host name for my machine. And as you can see, Samba test is visible. And here we go. So we've got this Samba, this default Samba share uh, is indeed working. So at this point, uh, you are running Centrify Enhanced Samba. Uh, it was really that easy to set up. But let's take the configuration one step further. Let's lock down access to a new share based on the membership to that IT members Active Directory security group that I showed you earlier. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, add a, a new block uh, for a new uh, Samba share. I'm going to paste this block in here. So what we're doing, uh, this is just uh, you know straight up Samba configuration. Um, so we're going to create a new share, Samba share called secured. Uh, the path there, so the the directory on the local machine is going to be slash samba slash secured, uh, which I need to create in a moment. And uh, to lock down this share so that only uh, members of the valid group can access it, uh, the important thing here is this syntax here. So we need a, a plus your domain slash the group. So in my case, that's plus centrify. My domain is centrify. Uh, backslash IT members for the group. So let me uh, write and quit that. And let's not forget to create uh, the directory. So we'll do a, a make dir uh, samba, which doesn't exist. Easy do make dir samba and secured. So we don't have any permission issues. Let's also do it easy to do chmod. We'll make this wide open for demonstration purposes. Samba secured. And finally, we'll copy the AV bind proxy guide uh, to that share, just because, uh, well, it's helpful to have a test file on there. Okay, finally, the last step is to uh, restart Samba. Uh, I'm going to do it this way, etsy, well, again, it's uh, dz do etsy init.d centrify dc samba restart. Okay, so the service is bounced. And to test the share, we will go ahead and navigate to the uh, secured, uh, newly secured share here. And uh, we have access to the share, okay, based on the membership to the uh, IT members group, and then we will finally double click on this file to validate that uh, we've got access to it. So that's it guys, uh, Centrify enabled Samba 2016, very, very easy to install and configure.